Rock Circus. Thanks, Barbie, by the way. This is backstage once again at Icy Light Amphitheater with a new prolific and very, very, very talented young lady on, on Atlantic Records and Modern Records. Oh, say hi. What's going on? Uh, she took her name, this little academics for you kids out there, uh, took her name from the great writer Al Edgar Allan Poe. That's true. You went to a party uh, as death. Now, how did you do that? Uh, as, at a very young age, you had to be very... Eight years old, I dressed up as the plague from the Mask of the Red Death. And I went with, you know, the hooded sort of figure of death with the, like, white. And I just tried to look really frightening, but I think everyone thought it was kind of hilarious. That's all you. Well, um, I, you, your life has really taken, like, a lot of changes. Like, you, you, I read up your bio up to one point, you had know, a normal family life. And then from there, you were, like, on your own. Now, your dad was a director, a film director, yeah, and he, he got thrown out of, like, every country you went in. What were you not doing? Every like, country, not uh, everyone. But, <laughs> yeah, he got thrown out of Spain. He was very kind of political activist kind of guy. Made some on-the-edge sort of documentary type things. So we lived in Africa, India, Spain, all over the place. He was wacky. Wacky. But, um, and then my family kind of broke up when I was around 16, and so I left home. So that was another experience, oh, all its own, oh, you know? Right on. Yeah. Totally. Um, so you did that, and then you were making tokens for the subway in New York to get by. Now, how did you, yeah, how like, did no, you do I'm that? I end up being arrested for this now. <laughs> uh, well, actually, there was a guy who was already making them, so I kind of joined the uh, oh, joined demonic the plan of... Was that uh, like the Ninja Turtles It was. It was, it was the, you know, Ninja is sort of public service, we thought, you know, because we'd sell them for a quarter, and they were basically just the same size and weight this as a regular right. token, and he made them sort of out of something similar to a cookie cutter, only with brass, and um, we felt very proud, because eventually they actually changed the tokens, because there were so many slugs in the system. They did very good at what they were doing. Now, all this is what I'm getting to, has led to such a diverse release called Hello by Poe. Uh, hello. She's saying hello to everybody. Now, at the end of the I'll be saying goodbye. I'm not going to get sued for this. Is that, uh, were you worried about it? You're like, goodbye. There's that little yeah, track that comes back. No, what it was is in, it was like 5 in the morning, and I was just messing around with sounds on this Pro Tools thing with a friend of mine, and then I go, I'm back. And I'm like, oh, that's from Poltergeist. Am I going to get sued? Bye. You know? But That's you funny, have, so you heard that. It's a little hidden track. A little trailer. Yeah. And it sort of ends the album nicely. A little, oh, little, cool. Yeah. But uh, like I said, there's a, there's a wide variety of music on this CD. Um, everything from uh, Angry Johnny to uh, what we're going to play today was Angry Johnny. Uh, oh, cool. You know, and what else do you have? A Trigger Happy Jack, which uh, yeah. the, the critics have really been honing on the lyrics on this uh, with the Jedi mind thing. You got a lot of different deep. Yeah, what, what did you do? The I mean, when you write, when you come to together with your, your lyrics? Do I mean, you really sit and meditate it, or is it just flow? Pretty much flows. I mean, sometimes I might get yeah, a, a phrase in my um, in my head, and then I kind of have to figure out, like, why am I, why is this going over and over again in my head, and what is it, what, what's the meaning here to create a whole song of, out of it? Like, I've had You're this... You're going to take three producers to help you do all this. Oh, no, 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 no. no. no? They say... Not lyrically, no. I no, mean, no, 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 not lyrically. I mean, but when you come back with the lyrics and the music and you assembled it in the studio. Yeah, but that was more like sort of whoever was around, like, at the time. Like, a friend of mine, R.J. Rice, who worked on the record, was like, he was around. I was like, I'm oh, sorry, man, let's cut this track. You know, Dave Jordan, yeah. the very tail end, yeah. came to a rehearsal and really, like, trigger happened. I was like, oh, man, let's cut this. I'll help you out. And that's kind of why it happened that way, you know, but I co-produce most of it, so there should be, that's probably why it's so, so schizophrenic. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's quite, it, it covers like every emotion the possible, that's oh, possible to human, it's, uh, <laughs> it, it'll, it'll engulf you if you listen to it, and uh, just take you over by storm, so uh, look out Atlantis, as a few critics have said, we yeah, hope. Yeah, yeah, no, she's Poe's out here kicking ass, and she's going to take some names. Thanks for coming on the show. All right. Poe, everybody. Angry Johnny.